Marta Solé, doctor by Harvard and current career director, was born in Villanova y la Geltrú. According to an old legend, Villanova was founded in the outskirts of Geltrú by a couple who were in love and who did not want to be subdued to the Toit de Seigneur of their feudal master. To that Villanova new village, other people and more people went, so that no longer were servants anymore and they became citizens. That idea of a city of equal and free people has guided other possible utopias all over the world and in different periods of time. At the Spanish universities, by the end of the 80s, it was not at all easy to find Villanovas. There were people intellectually and personally subdued to the masters. There were even many more extraordinary people controlled by others of fewer skills. It was this situation of the Spanish universities with persecution of the scientific activities and sexual impunity which lead to the founding of CREA, located in that moment at the University of Barcelona. Ours was an atypical center in the Spanish context. It soon became a Villanova where people went fleeing from the professor's grounds of their areas of knowledge. Those teachers who went there did not want to be subdued to those people anymore, but they got doctorates from the best universities and cooperate with international authors like Merton, Beck, Butler, Sir, Eric Colin Wright, Freire, Apple, Porter Boy. The department aim was not research. With the advice of people, such as the creator of the science of sociology, Robert Merton, we decided to create a new figure that was not contemplated then in the enforced legislation. CREA was, from its start in 1991, an interdisciplinary investigation unit that overflew the seclusion of people in the borders of the departments and the areas of knowledge. The Villanova were those who wished to be free and adhere to the scientific and ethical international guidelines went to investigate altogether, free from sexual and intellectual harassment of the feudal hierarchies. Four years later, the University of Barcelona approved guidelines turning that pioneer initiative in the legal model to be followed by other university Villanovas, that started to be created then. Nowadays, those investigation units, under different names, are now a usual practice in almost every university. In 1991, a lot of people told us that the universities did allow having individual critics just for show, but that they will never allow groups or transforming centers that would take them as a real threat to their status quo, and they would be destroyed. CREA specialized itself from the beginning in making possible the impossible, and it has already been achieved. Whereas in the majority of the research groups, it was the professor, the sole and only one, that has been the principal investigator of research projects for decades, in CREA, 17 different individuals have been principal investigators, 13 women and 4 men, and the rest of people working under working contracts, some under indefinite contracts, but others under temporary ones. Now, there are many other groups and investigation centers that are more egalitarian all the time. Whereas in those groups, the unstable young ones were forced to attend those congresses within their areas of knowledge, paying high enrollment fees, so the future professors could have a captive public in their lectures and enjoy all types of luxuries, all CREA members were completely free to attend or not those congresses they wanted. Thus, they were able to choose to participate in the best scientific congresses in the world, directly experiencing there their intellectual ideas and their strict guidelines against sexism and racism. <laughs>